Hey guys, this is Echo Sour with another tutorial for ADSR and MassiveSynth.com. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel and you'd like to stay up to date with all for tutorials, you can sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. That's a quick demo of the progressive lead we'll be making today inside of Massive. I thought it was a cool sound, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Uh, it's pretty simple to make. I, I didn't have any external processing on that, so let's just jump right into it. That is a blank sound in Massive. The first thing I'm going to do is in oscillator 1, I'm going to keep it on square saw 1, but I'm going to turn it to bend minus plus. I'm going to turn the wavetable position down to the square, and I'm going to turn the intensity down just a little bit above halfway, and then amp to about halfway, and then turn this slider up to a little bit above halfway, so it's leaning more towards filter 1. All right, then activate oscillator 2. And in oscillator 2, I'm going to select the square saw 2 wave, keep it on spectrum. Turn the wavetail position down almost all the way. Keep the intensity up and turn the amp down a good amount. And you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to boost this so it's kind of leaning more towards filter 1. And now activate oscillator 3. In oscillator 3, you're going to select this virtual analog pulse width. Turn the, the position down all the way. Turn the width to about just about halfway. And then the amp down almost all the way as well. And you're going to do the same thing. Boost this slider just a little. So now let's go through and detune the oscillator. So in oscillator 1, I'm going to pitch this up to 0.7. Oscillator 2, I'm going to pitch to positive 24. In oscillator 3, I'm going to pitch down to negative 0.19. So here's the sound that you should have so far. Let's jump down to the noise oscillator here. I'm going to turn the amp up to about 30%. And have all that going to filter 1. So now let's go to our filter section. Turn this up to serial instead of parallel because we're going to be using both of the filters. And then in filter 1, you're going to select low pass 2. And in filter 2, you're going to select the low pass 4. Now turn this cutoff up just a little bit above halfway for the low pass 2. Turn the resonance down to maybe about 3%, just like a little bit. And in filter 2, you're going to turn this cutoff up to about 75%, almost a good, so a good chunk there. And then turn the resonance down a lot. So just leave a little bit of it. And turn this slider up all the way. And I want to have this leaning towards mix 2. It's going to go through both of them, though, because it's on serial. So let's play what we have so far. So you can see it's affecting the sound with both of them. All right, so that is the oscillators, noise oscillator, and the, the general settings and the filters set up. Now let's go to our our oscillator tab, and I'm going to clear out this macro for the vibrato, and I'm going to give the sound a little bit of vibrato. All right, now let's go to the voicing tab. Turn the unisono up to two. Activate your pitch cutoff in your pan position. Now in this, you're going to turn down from one to point ten, so it won't be as noticeable effect, and then give it a little bit of detune. Alright, and I'm going to drag this back just a little bit. Okay, so now we got the general routing and all that taken care of with the voicing and the oscillator settings. Let's go to our envelopes. And in envelope 1, we're going to use this to modulate the filter, our filter 1, so the low pass 2. So turn the attack down, and then you're going to keep the level up. Turn the decay down just a little bit, and then turn this level down all the way, and keep the release kind of where it is. So if you have the decay at the right spot, this line, because you're not touching the release with this, should be near the one-shot word. So it's just a hair under halfway. So then we're going to take that crosshair, and you're going to modulate the cutoff of filter 1. All right, and now let's go to our fourth envelope which is tied to the output by default and let's create that shape so now i'm going to go to go take the attack down keep the level up i'm going to turn this decay down touch here on 35 40 percent and now i'm so if you turn your release all the way down right now so turn it all the way down just by affecting this decay to where it needs to be it should be right at that h on hold so now you're going to take the level and you're going to turn that down as well. 
and now you're going to go over to the release and let's turn that up a good amount. So you're going to turn it up a little bit above halfway. All right, so you should kind of have that nice little tail there. I'm going to turn the level down just a little bit. So this line, once you have the decay and the release up, should be kind of in between trig and zero. Now let's go back to envelope one. Forgot to do something. By default, it's on gate. We're going to turn it to hold. So this will change the sound a little bit. Every time you hit it, it's holding out that whole shape. And what that does is it kind of makes the sound have more of that mellow vibe, which is what you kind of heard in the demo. So don't forget to do that. Sorry, I didn't show you that when we were actually on envelope one. So now that we got the envelopes taken care of, let's start doing some of the effects for the sound. In insert one, I use the bit crusher. I turn the dry wet down a good amount and turn the crush all the way up. And then I, in FX one, I use the classic tube to kind of drive the sound. I had the dry wet set very, very low, so more towards dry, and then I turned the drive up a little bit above halfway. And in FX2 slot, I had some reverb. So I just turned up the noise a little bit. Now that the sound is taking more shape, I can kind of see how much noise needs to be there. And now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this EQ. And in the EQ, I'm going to turn the low shelf up. Turn the boost down a little. Turn this frequency up and turn the high shelf up just a little. All right, the final thing we're going to do is we're going to activate an LFO and we're going to modulate the pitch of one of the oscillators. So turn the rate all the way up. Turn the amp down a little. Keep the X fade in the middle because we're going to be using both, both uh, boxes here for two different shapes. In the first box, you're going to select the triangle. And in the second one, you're going to select bending 8 from the drop down menu. And now we're going to take this and modulate the pitch of oscillator 1. I'm just going to turn this up to 1. I'm going to turn this up to 0.13. And that is pretty much the sound you heard in the beginning. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. Tons of cool things Massive. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.